Hey everybody, um, Saturday, April 30th, end of the month, um, decided I'm going to record my Saturday part of the video because I did find quite a bit of stuff here, and then if I don't publish it today, I'll publish tomorrow if I find anything or not after. And you can see uh, that one is Charlotte sneaking up on me. Okay, um... First of all, this week, um, if you saw my uh, video yesterday on what I've sold, you notice I'm getting back into t-shirts because they're fairly cheap at the Salvation Army. They're normally three bucks, and most of the time they're half off. So I can, there we go, smell things again. It smells kind of good. And here comes Mango. Somebody else to pop in here. So anyway, I picked up this Marvel Punisher. Punisher is pretty big right now. It's uh, Marvel Tags. You know, Punisher just came out in the Daredevil Netflix show, and they just announced that they're going to do a Punisher spinoff. So um, now, I, if I get ten bucks, twelve bucks, fifteen bucks for these, that's great. That's what I'm going to probably start off around fifteen bucks. Take best offer. So there's a Punisher one, and then. Going to the DC side, it's an official, oh, can't see in the dark, can you? I don't know if you can see that tag. Uh, Superman tag, Superman American flag, probably get about 10, 12 bucks for that. They don't smell good. And these are all extra larges, I believe. Extra large. I think one of these is going to be a, a double XL I got. I think this is it. This is a Helix brand and I saw them like this this is double XL um, the designs were did pretty good I don't know how well you can see it there but um, yeah I like it got picked up for a buck fifty and then um, I didn't see any of these like these on eBay but this is an official uh, again dark tags um, Take my word for it. It says Disney Parks there. Oh, there we go. Disney Parks. And it's all Jack Skeleton. Different faces of Jack Skeleton. And he seems... That doesn't smell as nice. Um, he's a, a pretty popular character, so I expect him to go well, even though I didn't find any. Want to play with the bag? Little soft kitties. I like little soft kitties. Anyway, um, so today was a, I don't know if you can tell outside, just bright, but woke up a cloudy and mango. You always want them on camera. Mango wants to come up here. Never. No time. But yeah, it was a cloudy and drizzly, kind of like universe spitting at you today, today. But I went out anyway and did hit a couple good garage sales. There was one, it was a condo community. And 15 people going, and uh, and I hit the swamp meet and last night. Let's start with last night. I went to my uh, favorite day in the hallway, man, and I picked up a lot of little electronics. Start off with this, and this kind of teaches you if you don't know what it is, look it up anyway. If it looks cool or interesting, I found this, and to me, it looks kind of cool and interesting. It had its own uh, little cable there, but it's proprietary on this end, then USB on the other end. And I looked it up, uh, Leap Motion, and these things go for like 25 uh, 35 bucks used, 80 bucks new. And I didn't know what it was until I got home and I looked it up. And this thing is so cool that I'm, I almost kept it myself. But what it does is it sets in front of your computer, down in front of your computer, this plugs into your USB port on a laptop or computer, and you download the software off the wet website. Yes, Mango. And... It kind of gives you a VR um, Mission Impossible or uh, you know Minor Report type thing. It senses your hands. It has little infrared cameras in it, and it senses your hands above it. So you can technically they do have software. You can actually use your uh, like a mouse. You can use scrolling and back and forth. And it was kind of cumbersome to do that, so not practical. I'd rather just use my mouse, my trackpad. But if you use their apps, you can download for it. It's kind of cool. It has games on stuff. 
it was just cool, the cool factor to it. But not cool enough, not practical enough that I'm actually going to keep it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and sell it. But it's just, if you see something that just stands out to you, look it up. Who cares who's watching it? Look it up. See what it is. See what it goes for. That was just too cool. And kind of same thing with this, you know. You say, this is just a power supply that was huge. So I looked it up, and it's a Cambridge Soundworks AC adapter. I looked it up. So the power supply goes for 15 20 bucks plus shipping. Um, I'll have to stick my uh, voltmeter on that and make sure it works. I only picked it up for less than a buck. I picked up everything at the haul place. I paid 10 bucks. And the only thing that was, okay, man, we got to get down. The big dollar item was this in-box Sony um, Remote Commander. And these things were going for 50 to 150 depending on condition. I think 150 was new. But I paid five bucks for this and then five bucks for everything else, including this, including this. So I paid less than a buck for these items. So happy. And let's see what we else we have in the bag that I picked up there. The rest looks like it was just remotes in a calculator. This is a uh, vintage Texas Instruments BA uh, 2 Plus. It's a advanced business ana analysis calculator. Not a big seller like the TI 83s or 84s. You know, 10, 15, 20 bucks depending on condition and time of the year, I guess. I need to test it still. Just like I need to test that Sony Commander. And then. A Roku remote. There's only a couple of these on there, and they're going for 25 bucks. Um, haven't tested it. Let's test it right here. And uh, okay, we're hoping the batteries are dead in it because it's not doing anything. And then I got another Samsung remote, which uh, there we go. It um, goes for 25 to 30 bucks, and it does work. As you can see, the infrareds lighting up in there. So, and also has a little light up here that lights up. So, um, so those one, two, three, four, five. So about a buck a piece for those items, and then five bucks for the Sony uh, Commander. So, but all, all of them good money. Yeah. So let's save our plastic bags and save those when we clean up after the kitties and the doggies. What else did we get? So today at the Swamp Meat and Garage Sales, uh, one garage sale, I paid five bucks for this. Um, it's a bristle R pad. Again, if you know that my past, my R supplies go to my daughter. She's a very talented artist and uh, loves doing pins and uh, watercolors. So I found this whole package of new watercolors. I'm actually going to look them up and see what they're going for first. The pin set I'm probably going to sell. She uses a, a pin. I can't remember the brand of it, but like eight dollars a pin. So, but this set um, usually does pretty well on eBay. Uh, Rapidograph. I don't know. I need to open it up and test the pins. But this looks like it's new and I'm used. So, I'm probably going to look that up. And if it goes for good money, I'm probably going to sell that. If not, she can have it. And then. Picked up two puzzles, uh, 50 cents a piece. I don't normally look them up, but they're new sealed puzzles. So we'll see what they do. Um, also, the Swamp Meat. Found some Dr. Seuss books, five bucks for uh, three bucks for five of them. Um, I haven't said this before, but I'm going to be a granddaddy, apparently. Um, it's my stepdaughter who um, announced a couple weeks ago, so we're collecting Dr. Seuss books for her. So, um, And then I also got this uh, St. Louis Starbucks mug. I don't know what it goes for. Still has a sticker on the bottom. Um, we shall see. Funny thing for this is I went to pick it up, look at it. The lady next to me said, I already bought that, sold, and... Turns out this was at my uh, booth at the Swamp Meet where I always go to. They're uh, like a storage unit. Uh, they grab storage unit stuff. And and so I, I went after I said, okay, sorry. And then I came back to her and goes, you want to sell me just that mug? 
and she just let me buy it again off of the uh, people that run the booth and they only charged me a buck for it and the person that did that she was buying a lot of stuff from them and she's there every week like me so it was nice of her um, this mug looks new I haven't looked it up yet but uh, these Starbucks mugs usually do pretty good I don't know if the market's gone down or not Arr, Salvation Army item I don't know if Chad would like this but it's kind of weird it's called the director you stick a uh, cam recorder video camera up to the side here and then you whoops on this end you can put your projector ah uh, it's hard your projector or you can put slides in there and record them to a camcorder I, I don't know what I paid for this this is actually a week or so ago I think I paid a couple bucks for it and um, I think I have it listed for 20 or 30 not sure come on out key run away so there is that um, got another Vulcan today paid two bucks for it because it's missing the battery compartment I got the cover to the but it's missing the battery tray I'm hoping my good buddy Deborah will have um, one of those it's missing one slot in the bullets or actually two and, but I should still get 20 to 30 bucks for it at the tripod. So, and then I also, we'll get to that in a second here. Picked up a couple more things here. One more item. Thank you. One more item from the uh, haul place last night that was in that bag for five bucks was a uh, Palm 3E. Um, if you guys remember those old organizers with the uh, cradle, um, I'm only listing this for like 18 bucks best offer. They usually don't go for a lot, but some people still use them. Um, it works fine. And I mentioned that because also today I went to a garage sale and offered a buck for all this stuff. And it's not big items. I'll probably list them for 10 bucks a piece. But it's a Kyocera um, smartphone like a Blackberry. I don't know but uh with cradle uh let me list the palm so i'm gonna keep that separate another palm um cradle i think this is i don't know it's got the palm symbol the newer palm symbol it's a cradle dock and another cradle dock in a different color so i don't know what they got this um one's usb um, with the power cable and connects USB, and the other one has the USB, um, or is it just serial? It doesn't have the plug-in part. Eh, didn't think about that. Anyway, ten buck items. Um, before we get to that, we also picked up the Salvation Army. I told you, no mango. I'm doing shoes again. Um, found these at Salvation Army for seven bucks. Um, they're a uh, women's bicycle shoes and they go for like 30 to 40 bucks so i need to clean those up still and get those listed and what else was there i just pulled out of there oh found this at a garage sale today um tascam which is a high-end it's not like something you'd uh, put in your sound system but it's a cd um burner reversible rewritable recorder and I looked these things up and they were going for well over a hundred bucks um, and I picked it up for ten so again it's I look for things that are out of the ordinary different and this is different different so um, and usually you know not always but out of the ordinary and different sells well um, or high or whatever so down, down low so the cat's not knock it over. And the final item I got today was a breakfast burrito, which was just handed to me. So I'm going to enjoy that. And this will either be the cutoff now, or I'll be adding to this tomorrow.
So, see you for Saturday. Decided just to load this video up today. If I get more tomorrow, I'll make another video. I don't want to wait and make a half hour long video like some people. Not mentioning any names, Dusty. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, end of this video. Have a good week. Have lots of sales. Choose to be happy. See you guys.